Human speech is the music of civilized man, and it is the sentimental memory of men who once were civilized. <laughs> Theater 5 presents The Talkers. If the wind is right, we could talk some more. <laughs> oh, well, that's good. Mm-hmm. Uh, we could talk some more. <laughs> <laughs> I like to talk. <laughs> All right. All right, Clegg. Now, will you meet me out there? Uh, you go ahead. It'll take me longer. I'll meet you out there. Good. Now, don't forget now. Uh, Start right away. Oh. It'll take you longer, but I'll wait. I'll meet you out there. I'll wait for you. Now, Clagg, you forgot last time, you know. Oh, forget. It'll take me longer. You wait for me. Right. We'll go out and talk some more, huh? Ha ha ha! Out, Clegg. We'll talk. You and me. Uh, 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 good. I like to talk. I won't. Or again. I'll be waiting, Clagg. If you don't come, I won't have anybody to talk to. I'll talk to Wiggle. If I don't forget, we're going out. Don't forget. Human speech is the music of civilized men. And it is the sentimental memory of men who once were civilized. Men in their various prisons yearn to talk to one another. Even in the underground caves of a radioactive land, they will crawl like listless alligators. Just to talk together and to pretend they are men again. Men who are human and social and articulate. Oh, forget. We're going out and talk some more. Look, Flag. There are some new ones. What? Look, look, you see that cloud up there? Yeah. Way above the mine shaft across from us? Uh, I, I see. <laughs> I see. Look, they're different from the old ones. They're like big crickets, don't you think? Ah, uh, 
These are bigger. They're more like flying grasshoppers. Clag, I saw them last time I looked out. Now, just listen. Uh, hear that? <laughs> They're noisier, too. Lots of them. <laughs> Boy! There's lots of them. Uh, Clag, I think it's a good sign. I, I really do. There's nothing growing, of course, not even a weed, but even so, they must be living on something. <laughs> must be. That stands to reason, all right. Got to live on something. It was getting bigger, too. Uh, mm. I used to think they lived on one another. Like the fish in the sea, you know. The big fish eats the little fish, and the bigger fish eats the big fish. Well, uh, what do the little fish eat? Huh? Little fish? Well, there's an answer for that. But I forgot it. Clag. Clag, look at them now. Uh, look. They cover the whole countryside. And they're not eating each other. Hey, hey. Look at those. Over there. <laughs> when we first came out, you remember, there was only the dust and nothing in the air at all. How come the dust don't bother them? I don't know. I used to think they were like us. You know, like we come out here and sit when the dust isn't near the shaft's opening. Oh, Clag. I thought they would fly to some clear patch of clean air. But that new bunch there... It's right in the middle of some dots. Marco, Marco, you see that? Yes, you yes, see. I, I see that. Clark, I told you about that the last time we came out here to talk. I like to talk. Oh, oh I, I really do. <laughs> yeah, I really... You, you can't talk down there. Down in the dark and all. You're right. You just can't talk down in the dark. That's all there is to it. You know, we tried it month after month. No, it only makes sense out here. Yeah. Out here where we can see each other's faces. You can't talk down there. No. It's too dark. We found ourselves mumbling and groping for words. Yes. Oh. It takes some light just to talk. We can talk out here. All right. Yeah. Mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> Clag, you remember I told you about the flies and the DDT? How they made this new poisonous chemical years ago just to kill off the flies, and uh -huh. how the flies developed their own immunity to it, and instead of being killed, they got bigger and fatter from it? I remember <laughs> you telling me about the flies and the DDT. DDT, yeah. Uh -huh. Good. Good. Now... What else did I tell you? Michael, I don't really remember. I, I was just talking. It's all right, Clag. It doesn't matter. But listen to me. I, I figured then that the insects, for some reason, were the only form of life that had developed some immunity to radioactive dust on the surface. Huh? Now, today, when I watched these new bigger bugs, I, I was sure of it. It's like the flies and the DDT. Only it's not. No. No, 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 no. I, I didn't really think it was. Clag, I... Clag, will you listen to me? Ah, uh, uh, I think I figured out what's happening. We're all underground because of the dust. However many of us there are left, the dust keeps us off the surface. But these billions and billions of insects get bigger and more plentiful as time goes on. It... Clag, can't you see what I mean? No. Honest, Merka, I can't see. Oof. Where are all the bugs coming from? Huh? How, 
How come they don't die? Don't you they... understand? The radioactive dust is coming to life right before our eyes, Glag. <laughs> now that is where the bugs are coming from. But where are all the bugs coming from? They are coming from the dust. Don't you see? Glag, the dust is turning into bugs. Now, now pay attention. Instead of a cloud of dust, we're getting a cloud of insects. That's what's happening. Some new cycle of life is happening. Oh. Oh. Uh, no wonder they're so good. No, no, no. Stop that. Clack, stop that. Look, I don't mind you catching them. But I've told you before, wait, wait until you get down below. Now you wait. Or I won't talk to you anymore. I mean it. I won't talk to you. All right. I'll wait. I'll wait. I sure had to talk. I, I really do. I agree. I, oh, Michael, Michael, please, please. Don't worry, Michael. I'll wait. I'll wait. I really will. I really will. I thought you forgot again. No. I wouldn't miss the chance. <laughs> I like to talk. I only forget what I forget. No, Clag. No. no. Now, I'll save it. Keep it until later. Now, you promised me you would. They're getting bigger and bigger. I know. I know. Look how much bigger the clouds are. That was less dust, too. It's happening, isn't it? What's happening? Well, what you said about the dust starting new life and, and, and turning into bugs. Yes. Yes, I really think so. No way of proving it, but it certainly looks that way. Would it? Oh, I'm sorry, Michael. I, I, I won't do it again. I'm glad I don't mind anymore. Just as long as I'm not watching. Now, if you want to talk with me, you'd better wait like you promised. Uh, I, I love to talk. I, let's talk about the old days. <laughs> the old days. Oh, yes, it was funny in the old days. I don't even know how long ago it was. Uh, Probably many years. Many years. Oh, many years. Here we sit on the edge of a hole in the ground, worse than animals, really. You know, in the old days, I changed my clothes two and three times a day. Mm hmm. I changed everything underwear, shirts, socks, everything. Oh. Now all I've got are my sores. Now, yours seem to be healing, Clag. Are you having less trouble? No, well, talking all day. All day. All day. I'd have a martini or two at the bar before lunch. Could you believe it? There were 20 barmen in town who knew exactly how I liked my martini. Very dry, a wisp of a twist once around the rim and a certain kind of anchovy oil. Yes, I... Didn't even have to order. Just smile and nod as I went on with the conversation. <laughs> Isn't that absurd? Won't you think of it? And here we are, years later, surrounded by bugs. Bugs of all things. Huge crickets and giant grasshoppers taking over what's left of the world. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Clag, mm. come here. Come here. Close. Close. You see this? What's that? That's a piece of glass. That's what it is. Just a fragment of glass. Look, look. You can see through it. Hey. 
I don't think it's window glass. Hey, 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 hey. That's glass. <laughs> That's what it is. That's glass. That's glass. glass. I think it's from a tumbler or a cocktail glass. You, you see how thin it is? Now, it's just a tiny fragment of glass. But it reminds me of the old world where men looked through windows and drank from delicate, transparent containers. That's glass. That's glass, all right. <laughs> Clang, we decided once that we knew where this place was, didn't we? Clang, didn't we figure out that this was West Virginia? Now, I, I think we guessed this was West Virginia. Now, didn't we find some bills of lading or something marked West Virginia, didn't we? West Virginia. West Virginia. West Virginia, West Virginia Charleston, or Boston, or wherever you could drink with the help of a little glass. Yes, indeed. My martinis came surrounded by glass like this. <laughs> and all that's left is a sliver of glass not really adequate to cut your throat with. Martinis and starch shirts. And lie and laugh and try to swindle each other. Ah, oh, yes, the old days were funny, all right. We were so busy changing suits and ordering martinis and trying to pull off a sophisticated swindle that we didn't even hear the bomb go off. <laughs> well, we live like kings. You know, if you think of it right, sheets and talcum powder, deodorants, air conditioning. And now we lie on our faces for hours in the dark of a mine shaft, alone, afraid to breathe too deeply. <laughs> the underground seepage keeping our wounds from healing. That looks a little better, Clag. Must be the trips up here to the outside. Clag! Clag! <laughs> it sure doesn't do much for your speech patterns, listening to those bugs. And gorging yourself with those blasted insects don't help your conversation either. Better. Clag, what did we used to talk about over the martinis? What did we talk about over the martinis? I, I think we lied mostly, setting up some swindle or other. You know, all our sores were on the inside then, coming up with the talcum and the linen and the deodorants and the fancy tailoring. You know, Clagg, if I in the old days could have seen myself sitting here now, right now, I mean, not knowing that this was me, but just seeing me... Do you know what I would have done? <laughs> I would have screamed. That's a fact. I never could have visualized a living being in this condition. Look at the matted hair, scabrous flesh, foul smelling. Flag, you should see yourself in this light. You don't look like a man any longer. Really, Clagg, your arms are leathery and skinny. They look more like sticks. And I swear they even bend the wrong way. Clagg. Clagg, your head, your eyes. I told you not to take so many. Clagg, talk to me. Talk, man, talk. Clagg. Please try to say one human word. You're gone, Clagg. You won't talk to me anymore. You've lost the power of human speech just as I've forgotten how to scream. I'm trying to scream, but I can't scream any more than Clagg can talk. Oh, Lord, please hear me screaming. I really scream. Human speech is the music of civilized man, and it is the sentimental memory of men who once were civilized. Theater 5 has 
presented The Talkers, written by Burr McCloskey and directed by Ted Bell. In the cast, Donald Buca and Robert Dryden. Audio engineers Marty Folia and Neil Pulse. Sound technician Ed Blaney. Original music by Alexander Vlasdotsenko. We invite your comments. Write to Theater 5, New York 23, New York. This is Fred Foy speaking. This has been an ABC Radio Network production.